Hello again and welcome to 3D Science News. I'm Elaine Lee. For over a hundred years, people have been debating the age of the Grand Canyon, that huge colorful chasm in Arizona that is a magnet for tourists and geologists. If you were to go to the edge of the Grand Canyon and read the helpful signs put up by the National Park Service, you would read that the age of the canyon is around 10 to 11 million years. That is, that's how long it took for the Colorado River to erode the rock over a mile down in some spots. But a new study published this month in the journal Nature argues that it actually took much longer for the canyon to form. A team of geologists from the University of New Mexico spent several years clamoring in and out of the caves along the canyon trying to find a definitive answer. What they found almost doubles the estimate of the canyon's age. After uranium dating calcite deposits in nine caves, they argue that it took 17 million years, not a mere 10, to erode the rock. They also claim that the evidence argues for two canyons, one east and one west, that eroded into each other at a place called the Kaibib Arch. The new theory has already sparked heated exchanges on NPR's Science Friday, where the team leader, Victor Polyak, wound up defending his research with a retired geologist who called into the show. In the meantime, in something less than geological time, park rangers will be out putting up new signs. Thank you for joining us again here at 3D Science News. We will see you next time.